with Josh Hutchins at Loop to talk about their range. Josh, this is the new SW rod, I believe? Yeah, so I guess uh, Loop is traditionally a, uh, a freshwater brand, that, but they've been making great inroads into the saltwater. Um, from the Flatsman series, which was their original yeah. uh, saltwater series, we've now upgraded that to the SW. Um, there is a range of medium fast rods, which is probably uh, Loop's historic style. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we also have a fast action too, which I prefer that. Yeah. Most Australians suit that fast action rod for salt water. Yeah. Um, and it's a great range. I've been able to fish uh, almost all the range in the Seychelles, Australia, yeah. Pacific Islands. Um, caught some amazing GTs on the 12 weights. Caught yeah. some nice bones, permits. Um, yeah, all sorts. It's been great. Yeah, fantastic. And this is the new Q series from Loop Josh. Yeah, so the, uh, the Q range is the newest in their rod lineup. Um, it's a very affordable option to enter the market. Um, I've been pitching these a lot of beginners coming to our courses. Yeah. Um, and even guys that just don't want to get too committed to begin with. Yeah. Um, this is the 10 weight. I've been fishing this for Murray Cod. It's right. a great sort of medium fast action rod. It's very yeah. forgiving. Um, I have a nice four weight I've been trying for the trout up in the snow mountains. Been right. great as well. Yeah. Uh, it's also a good rod just as a backup on a salt trip. If, yeah, right. um, that, Particularly the single-handed range is four weight through to ten weight. Yep. Um, and there's a couple of double-handed rods, which I know um, is probably one of the most affordable entry points to that double-handed market. Right. Okay. Guys in New Zealand, that Taupo yep. sort of market, have been using that as well. Yeah. It's so a good... you can potentially look at getting into spay for sort of 450 bucks. Basically. Yeah. 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 It's a yep. great starter. Yep. And the action on these? Uh, these are more of a medium-fast action. Yep. I think for beginners, it's a nice yep. to have a bit more of a forgiving rod. And this is the Big L, the Opti range. I'm sure people will be familiar with it, but tell us a bit more about the range, Josh. Yeah, the, um, the Opti range is the signature series for Loop. Uh, the large Arbor reels that you see, I guess, in many companies these days, essentially that was something Loop innovated many years ago. Yep. Um, the Opti range has a, a bunch of beautiful reels ranging from that kind of two weight right up to 12 weights. Yep. Uh, the new ones this year are the Opti Rapid, which is a right. beautiful reel for six to eight weight, let's say, yep. um, and the Opti Gyro, which is more of a 10 to 12 weight. Right. The exciting thing about the Optigyra, um, as someone that likes to chase GTs, yep. is just a, a very powerful drag. Yeah, cool. uh, and for, I guess, a lot of saltwater application in Australia, I'm really excited to give this reel a try. Yeah, cool. And it comes in a new blue colour as well. Yeah, they've gone a little bit fancy with that yeah, one. We've got cool. a nice sort of salt. Shirt. It does. A nice <laughs> salt blue colour there. Yep. Um, and the standard range as well as, as yeah, black cool. and chrome. And you want to test me out on this drag, don't you? I do, I do. So Let's have a go. You can be my GT for the yep. moment. Anyone that's chased GTs know that you need a, a solid reel that's going to lock up. So, yeah, okay. If you have to that's pull that hard, solid. <laughs> if you have to pull that hard, essentially, you know, once yeah, you've got a bench, ain't the going rod, far. it's not going to go. Yeah, you um, keep it out of the reach. This has a capability of about 25 pounds of drag, which is a solid reel. Yep. Um, and it's not a total beast either. I, I've, you can cast this all day, which some applications actually need that. And finally, this is uh, the Evo Tech Car Series. Um, it's a great wide range from a two weight medium action rod. Yep. We have medium fast action and fast action uh, all the way through to 11 weight. It covers a lot of the fly fishing applications we would have. Yep. Um, I'm finding That's this awesome. these to be very popular in Australia. We've, um, they're a nice mid range price. They're actually a beautiful rod. I really like the medium actions, the medium fast. I've fished throughout New Zealand in the fast as well. Uh, even in the salt, caught some nice fish. Uh, I think they're just a very usable rod. They're, they're enjoyable to fish. Fantastic. Well, there's plenty of options here. I can't wait to get back to Australia and fish some of them with you. Josh, thanks for joining us on Fly Life TV. Thanks for having me.